So I realize we haven't really done like a day in the life kind of video where we show you what it's actually like to be us. Um, and today's a great day to do it because it's kind of a typical morning, afternoon, evening for us. Um, so for starters, this is our new RV. It's a little messy. We're still trying to get organized. Um, yeah. We have a TV now. There's a bunch of junk and some kettle corn. And this is where I work now. Uh, currently working on a quilt, but usually this is going to be whale sack stuff. Watching uh, last no. year's world tape page, what's up? So, Eric gets up about two hours after I do. <laughs> oh, man. Is that not accurate? No, it is. I work on whale sacks, he sleeps in, and then he usually watches either disc golf videos or Super Smash Brothers. Mm -hmm. People playing Super Smash Brothers. He doesn't even play Super Smash Brothers, he just watches people play Super Smash Brothers. That's, that's, a, that's a real thing. Um, so right now we're in Pensacola, Florida, kind of waiting it out. We're doing a putting league tonight, so we'll show you what that looks like. We have two patrons! Looks like a caravan. It does. So, some days we gotta practice even when we don't want to, but I got a tournament this weekend. Tina's thinking about playing, and every little practice counts, right? Yep. Every little bit. What are you doing, baby? <laughs> Examining things. That's crazy. It's like a woodpecker. Dot eyes. Did you do it? Does it look like a mask now? Did you hit the pin? Did you hit the pin? I hit the pin. The pooty! I did pooty. Hit the pin. Hey guys, if that doesn't tell you to be dynamic and throw dynamic. I don't know what else does. Did you leave one? Oh no! Tina, come back! I love you! This is kind of funny to me. Because this is what Eric brought today. And this is what I brought. And, and one, one of them's his! I don't even, this isn't even mine. Yeah. I brought two drivers, a mid-range, and three putters. But honestly, off season wise, I kind of like to take just a few discs and then like super hyper focus on learning just those discs and everything they can do. Um, which actually, if you're bagging something new that you want to play around with, I suggest only bringing that disc and like your putters. Um, it's a really good way to force yourself to learn like, what'll this do if I throw it on an Anheuser? What about sidearm? What if I'm trying to get it to skip left and it's an understable disc? You just get to play around with all that stuff and the more you learn about every single disc in your bag the better you're going to be able to throw them. I think it'll be more interesting. Okay. Yeah, what's that? So, super special disc. Crystal Lesbo. Crystal Lesbo. So I used this at a two disc challenge before Chris and I were ever sponsored. I think I might might have been sponsored by Discmania but I don't know. It was just a... but it doesn't matter. So <laughs> I used this and I gave it to Chris when I was done and then he got sponsored and then he gave it back to me the moment I got sponsored, so... And then he gave it to me! And it's been in the family, and I'm bringing it back to my bag for sidearms. Like this. Ready for this secret gap? Oh. Nice! Is that the secret fairway. gap? Dead center fairway. What do you know about that? What are you trying? I'm trying this FIFA out. FIFA. 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 FIFA out. FIFA out. You have all 35 of your discs.
25. Well, that's not so bad. But compared to my six, it's a lot. Yeah. Sometimes in practice. You throw it in the basket. So working a little bit of fan grip, mid ranges and drivers, through a little felon backhand, off these sweet pine needles. Let's skip, go. Skip right in, and then. And then I threw a sidearm. And that hit the case. And that hit the case. Two, two medals. Hey. Two felons. Hey, throw felons. Ah, something's in my eye. Throw felons. I'm looking at you guys. Hi. Spout center spot. Look how cute. It's a little cutout just for the spouty, wowdy, booty, scooty dooters. <laughs> You're cute. Eric was just screaming Mau Mau for like two minutes straight. Mau Mau! It's the next morning. We are officially taking our maiden voyage. Um, we've driven it in town in Pensacola a little bit, but we're driving up to Knoxville. It'll be our first big drive. And um, we think we have a name for the new house but I'm not completely sure. And if we do, I want to come up with a uh, sweet intro for her. So stay tuned. <laughs>